Hi, this is Brian Jepson with O'Reilly Media, and I'm here to talk about our book, Getting Started with Arduino by Massimo Banzi. Arduino is a very cool, very powerful little microcontroller board. It's very easy to program. It was made for artists, designers, so it's really great for anybody who's just starting out with electronics or even just starting out with programming. And in this little book, we take you through the basics, get you started with hooking things up, including push buttons and all sorts of devices, show you how to plug an LED in, explain the basics of it, how to hook it up, install the software, and run a little program on it. So what I'm going to do right now is go through the steps required to make an LED blink. Once you have the Arduino software installed and you've installed all the drivers that go along with it, you can load a program onto the Arduino. Before you can do that, make sure your Arduino is plugged in, go into the Arduino installation directory and find the Blink program. It's found under the examples. At the Tools menu, you're going to need to choose the type of board that you have. In my case, I have one of the older Arduino NGs with the ATmega168, and you can figure this all out by looking at the board and looking at the lettering and labeling on it. You also need to choose which serial port you're going to communicate with the Arduino over. On Macintoshes, this will be a USB serial port. On Windows, this will be a COM port. Now you're ready to program. For most Arduinos, you can just click the Upload button. For older ones, you'll have to press a reset button on the Arduino and then click the upload button. After you click the upload button, you'll see the software being uploaded to the Arduino and the sketch, which is Arduino's term for computer program, will start running. Now that you've got the program loaded onto the Arduino, you're ready to go. You'll just need to connect the LED. If you've got a newer Arduino board, you'll probably see a light blinking on the board already as there's an LED connected. So to get it going, I'm just going to put the short end into the ground pin and the long end into the pin that's labeled 13. And the program's running, and it's blinking. And this is just one of the many things you'll learn about in getting started with Arduino.